Records pertaining to military service can be an important source for genealogical information. Today we will show you where to find clues about military service on a special federal census. As early as 1840, census information was gathered about individuals who had served in the military during the Revolutionary War or the War of 1812. Names of pensioners appear on the back page of the 1840 schedule under the heading Pensioners for Revolutionary or Military Services, where it is easy to miss. Also keep in mind that elderly veterans or their widows may have been living with children or extended family who may have had different surnames. The most extensive information on veterans can be found in the special schedules of the 11th Census enumerating Union veterans and widows of Union veterans of the Civil War, also known as the 1890 Veteran Schedule. Its original purpose was to help in the designation of pension claims. This census can be useful for many reasons. The first reason to use the Veteran Schedule is that it alone is one of the few remaining parts of the 1890 census, which was destroyed after a fire. Also, although it was designed to enumerate Union veterans, Confederate veterans and veterans of earlier wars sometimes appear with detailed information. When using the veteran schedule, bear in mind that some states are missing. This map, based upon information from the National Archives, shows states with some surviving records. The veteran schedule is arranged by state, county, and township or minor subdivisions. It lists name, rank, name of company, regiment or vessel, length of service, enlistment and discharge, disability, and post office address. Before this special census was taken, notices were published in about 500 newspapers across the country to improve compliance, and letters were posted to people the enumerators were unable to reach. Many researchers are frustrated by the fact they cannot get 1890 census information. But perhaps the 1890 Veterans Schedule can help fill in that missing gap. You can access the census through your local public library, archives, state library, family history center, or subscription database. Thank you.